things to consider when you travel is finding out the best place to stay in. That's why here in Key Cocker, we made sure to do our research so you don't have to. Hello everybody, my name is Julius and today's episode, we will show you on what we think is the best accommodation in this island, including the reasons that we have. Join me as I have to Iguana Reef in Key Cocker, Belize. Let's go! Strategically located in the island of Cocker, the Iguana Reef Inn Hotel may be small in size, but big in offerings, some of which can never be matched by any other resort in Belize. The resort is few minutes away on foot or golf cart from major key cocker spots such as the island airport, express seaport, bars, restaurants, and major attractions on the island. We confirmed this ourselves the moment we set foot on the island of Key Cocker. We arrive at the resort's dock after a fun-filled sailing adventure from San Pedro to Key Cocker. Check-in was a breeze and we found ourselves in our room in no time. We easily fell in love with our room's immaculate appearance. And that panoramic view? Featuring the resort's private beach, boat dock and dramatic sunset oh gosh what more can you ask for so beautiful the next day we're ready to find out what key cocker has to offer after lounging and doing our morning cardio at our hotel we decided to check out the split and see what the rave is all about the split is a channel that cuts across key cocker which, according to most locals, was caused by the Super Hurricane Haiti when it hit the island back in 1961, splitting the island into two. Today, the very edge of the split is now a famous hangout spot when one can drink, dine, lounge, and play as you enjoy the endless Belizean summer. This is also where we decided to eat our lunch at this place called Lazy Lizard. And oh boy, I'm glad we did. Sylvia, what do you have for us? Um, jerk chicken. Woo, yummy, looks so good. Oh, nice. Nice. Wow. Damn, I wish all salad looks like that. Thank you very much, Sylvia. Yeah, extra plate, por favor. Thank you very much. Hey guys, so we are here at Key Cocker at the split. This is the famous division between the south side and the north side of the island caused by the hurricane back in the 1960s. And we're right now with my parents. Nasantayo. What is this? Key Cocker Key Cocker Uh oh, Key Cocker The north side of the island is mostly undeveloped But if you plan to explore, make sure to check out Coco King Beach Club more on that on the previous vlog found on our Sailing Belize episode. After spending several hours at the split, my mom and I decided to check out a fish encounter that is uniquely found in Key Cocker. That is hand feeding the giant harpoon fishes. Ooh, sounds scary. Oh, they're swimming over here, wow. Oh damn, they're huge! Whoa! Whoa! They're big! Hey guys, uh, good afternoon. I'm here right now in Key Cocker in Belize to try out one of the famous attractions and activities found in this island. 
I've pretty much walked through one of the nooks and crannies over here to experience this, the tarpoon. So the tarpoon is a bony type of fish, silver in color that can grow up to like about six to seven feet. I'm here right now with Elsie, my mom's over there. And Elsie's gonna go show us how it's actually done. So Elsie, go ahead. Oh, there you go. Oh. Cut the hair and then we just take the sardine. Uh-huh. Like that? Put it over the water. Uh-huh. And the tap and jump, get it from our hands. That's it? Yep. That's very easy. Yep. Did, they, did they bite? Uh, They don't have teeth. Oh, that's awesome. That's good yeah. to know. They don't have teeth. They just have this hard shell in the mouth. Uh -huh. Like rough sandpaper. Oh, There's wow. No teeth to bite. All right, that's good to know. All right, I'll get to try it now then. Yes. All right. Awesome. Thank you very much. Let's do it. Okay. <laughs> I'm about to try the one of the famous activities over here that is feeding the tarpoon. Tarpoon is one of the local fish over here that can go up to nine feet. Is that correct? Um, yeah. Six to seven feet. And right now they're like above three feet in um, length. But they told me to do this. A little bit more down. Don't worry. All right. It took me some time to get used to it. In fact, I needed to be extra patient until finally. Whoa! Take it out. I tried different styles of feeding. Trust me, even by foot. My mom also tried it herself, and here's her funny reaction. Your hands should be like this, Ma. Your hands should be like this. Your hands should be like this. Okay. okay. All right. Ah! <laughs> Later on, I'm becoming a pro at catching not only once. but twice. The next day, we woke up to a weeping weather, probably sharing the same sadness with us because it was our last day on Key Cocker and Belize in general. We originally wanted to experience swimming with the manatees since Belize is known to have the most manatee population in Central America, found behind the island of Key Cocker. However, the activity was cancelled, but this allowed us to explore more of the island after the weather has calmed down. I've been eyeing this since yesterday and I'm finally trying out Key Cocker's Grilled Chicken. We are in Key Cocker enjoying this beautiful view and this yummy barbecue chicken. Is this a local Galician uh, recipe? Nice. Nice. What is your name, Chef? Sh Chef Curry? Kareem. Kareem. I thought he was like Steph Curry. <laughs> right? <laughs> I was like, oh, I think you sound familiar. <laughs> what do you have over here? So they have the chicken, the sausage, the chicken mild spicy. Yeah, we just mild spicy. Then we decided to get our sugar fix at Cafe by the Sea. That's a funny uh, pickup line. I was like, you'll definitely get tips once they read that. <laughs> Lastly, we made sure to bring pieces of Belize with us by checking their largest souvenir store in Key Cocker, the Laka Laka Token. Did my mom buy everything in the store? <laughs> <laughs> oh my gosh, look at all this stuff. I want to buy the whole thing, right? <laughs> I know, she's very nice. Especially your stuff, you guys got some great stuff over here. Now we're back at the hotel to experience its best amenities that no other resort in Belize or even in Central America can match. Number one, aside from having its own port and private beach, 
The water surrounding its shores serves as its own little marine sanctuary, with nurse sharks, tarpoons, seahorses, and other tropical fishes swimming around. Lastly, and the most impressive of all, when the clock strikes five, a big group of stingrays frolic in the shores of its private beach, feeding, playing, and interacting with tourists. Hey guys, so we are with the stingrays. Oh man, they're intimidating at first though. Can I have some more? Alright, cool. Hello. So we're gonna go feed the stingrays. We got this. And they're over there. This way. Alright. Right. Hello. 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 Sushi. Hello. Hello. There you go. Good boy. There's another one. Hello. I ended the day relaxing while watching my last sunset of Belize. I just can't believe our five-day Belizean adventure is coming to an end. It is such a beautiful destination that I didn't expect to fall in love with. Good morning guys. So today is our final day here on the island of Key Cocker. We're now here at the seaport. We're just waiting for our water taxi to arrive. We're scheduled to depart at 10.30 a.m. to arrive in Belize City at 11.30. And uh, it was a bittersweet experience this morning, checking out from our hotel. But this is not gonna be the end. We'll definitely come back and uh, we definitely had a great time over here. And uh, this is gonna be a first of the next uh, couple of visits to this island. So uh, join me again. In my future adventures, this is again Julius, and this is IHAP, Island Hopping Adventure, Philippines and Beyond.